everybody. In this Flash and ActionScript 3 lesson that's suitable for CS3, CS4, or CS5, we'll demonstrate managing depth using the setChildIndex function in ActionScript 3. And we'll also demonstrate a simplified tab interface at the same time. So this is what we end up with. Very simple tab interface that shows you how to manage your depth. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is set up three little sections here, and each one is going to be contained in its own little movie clip. So what I have are three different color rectangles, and these three up top have a roundness set to them. And then there's three regular rectangles here with no roundness that are going to go attached to the respective colors that match. So let's take section three. Let's put that text right in the middle there somewhere. And then let's take this label and put it up top here. Okay, so we have section three. This box is all set up and ready to go. So let's just move that one into place. Let's make it line up right there. That looks good. There we go. We can even give it an edge. That'll match that. Let's just make that 0.25 very skinny. Now I'm going to convert this tab up top here to a button symbol. OK. I'm going to send it back to the back since it brought it to the front when I created the symbol. So I'm going to press Control Shift down arrow key. It'll put it back in the back. Now I'm going to highlight all four of these items this one this one and you can put any kind of information or movie clips inside of this section that you like and then any kind of code can go within the movie clip I'll show you what I mean Let's click that hold shift click that and while holding shift still let's click all four of those items that are going to get contained into that movie clip now I'm going to right click convert to symbol movie clip library I'll just name this section 3 okay okay so section 3 is all set up now if I double click inside of this movie clip let's give it an instance name before we dig inside of it instance name is section 3 underscore MC since it's a movie clip now I'll double click inside of it and you'll see that it's just those four items in there on layer 1 and I can make as many layers in here as I like. I can put any code that I like in here. Say I wanted to refer some dynamic external content. I can put all the code I need in here to do that. So let's go ahead and send this one to the back. Back in the main scene. Control Shift down. And I'm going to do the same thing for these other two the orange and the blue. Alright, so now as you can see I have section 1 which is instance named section 1 underscore MC in the properties panel here. If I click section 2 you see it says section 2 underscore MC and then section 3 underscore MC. Alright, now let's put in some code. Let's rename this layer sections and then let's place a new layer above it and the new layer Let's call that Action Script 3. The Action Script 3 layer, we're going to press F9 to open the Actions panel where we can type in some code that's going to talk to these three sections using the instance names. Right now, the first thing we want to do is set a number variable for the top position of the hierarchy. So let's type in var top position and this is going to be uint because it's a round number not decimal this dot num children and using this you can get the number of children that are on the stage which in this case we have three we have a number variable that's always going to be set to read the number of children so in our case this is saying 3 minus 1. 
So this is always going to be making a two. But if you happen to have ten items on stage, or however many items you have, that's the number you want to put here. But if you want to keep it a little more universal, you can just use this dot num children, and that'll always get the exact number of how many items you're dealing with in the depth management. Okay, so the next line is very simple. We're just going to say section one, which is the instance name section one mc dot add event listener, and this is going to be a mouse event for the mouse down when the user clicks their mouse down. So this is mouse down. Actually this has to be mouse event. Mouse down, comma, and then the name of the function that you want to fire off when that section is mouse down. Close it all up. And we'll call this section one up. So let's grab that, control C. Let's make the function for that really quick. Function section up. This is event colon mouse event. Type in our void. Open the curly brace, go down a couple of lines, close the curly brace to shut the function. Shut the, f shut the function up! Now, uh, all we have to do inside of this is one little line. It'll say this dot set child index inside of the parentheses here. We're going to have two parameters. The first one is the object. So that would be section 1 MC. And our second parameter is going to be top position, which in our case is always a number 2. Let's put a space there. OK. Now all we have to do is make two more for the other two objects, two more listeners. So let's make this say 3, and this say 2, this says 3, this says 2 and two more little functions. This says section 2, section 2, section 3, and section 3. Now let's press control enter. So you'll see what it gives us. It's kind of like a tab interface to where you can really present a lot of data in a very simple way. And it also shows you how to manage your depth. Okay, so if you want to get at this file, it's going to be available free at developphp.com in the Flash tutorial section, along with all the other files you can download free and dig around. Okay, we'll see you in the next lesson. Bye-bye.